hello everyone i welcome to all of you once again in the biology classes of class 10 today we will starting from the first chapter that is the life process let's begin with this topic what is life process what is life process all the process let's what all the processes which occur in an organism's body to carry out its life means whatever the process going in our body which making making yourselves to alive to live that is called as life process the various life process which are going in our body is like nutrition respiration transportation and excretion and yet some other process are there but these are some basic process which are going in our body you can see you can justify by this also nutrition is very important like taking food if you not get the nutrition you will die because of want of energy respiration means taking off oxygen and giving off carbon dioxide and oxygen required for what for burning of food yet it going to provide you energy for sustaining of your life transportation transportation different organisms have different method of transportation transportation means for the distribution of the metabolites the useful substance like glucose the carbohydrate the protein the fat and also the transport is used for the elimination of the waste from the body excretion excretion is a process through which we eliminate the waste product from our body that is the certain organs are there which are involved in the process of harmful toxic substances which the toxic substance has been transported transported from the transport system to the site of the organ like kidney and from the kidney it is filtered out and passed out to the body because if such metabolites are retained in the body that can be dangerous for our body and cause various diseases and the life process can be stopped so these are the all the process we are seeing are amounting to organism to carry out its life process. If any one of the process it can disturb the individual life process can be even seriously affected and can this life process can be stopped permanently. Let's define one one why one all this process a little bit in detail. Now let's start what is nutrition? You have heard this word earlier in your lower classes in our classes have defined what is nutrition simply we can say the act of obtaining food means the process by which we obtain food by the nature by the surrounding various organisms have the various method of obtaining food so, so nutrition is the process of obtaining food why the food is obtained why one want to get obtaining food food for the energy for the and certain components which is required for a body for its growth and development that is called as nutrition though nutrition in an individual obtain energy and metabolite for growth and development as I have stated the individual drive nourishment for growth and development and various other things for which uh, take food or drive nutrition we will discuss in detail later on let's see what are the various modes of nutrition still we are doing some various modes of nutrition like broadly it is categorized in four parts autotrophic mode of nutrition heterotrophic mode of nutrition saprotrophic mode of nutrition parasitic mode of nutrition let's begin with the autotrophic mode of nutrition autotrophic mode of nutrition different mode different reason have different mode of nutrition so first autotrophic mode of nutrition in this mode of nutrition, an organisms can prepare their own food. 